I think our, our preseason has been going pretty well. You know, we've got a lot of new guys on our team, and we've been able to get out and scrimmage once. We had a really good battle with St. Mary's, and we're excited to get another go this weekend with uh, uh, Washington College and Hartford Community College before we move on to Muhlenberg. And uh, so I think practice has been going good. A lot of new faces, a lot of old faces. And so I think the chemistry has been great, and our captains with uh, Damian Schmidt and um, – Jack Scalati have been doing a great job getting the guys focused on what we've got to do to accomplish the season to get back to where we think we need to be. Yeah, each year we kind of play one of the tougher schedules in the nation, so we're always excited to get out there. You know, we open up with Muhlenberg on the 17th, who's a really strong centennial team, and then we, uh, we go down to CNU, who'll be a top five team, and then uh, we play uh, Catholic, who's a, a very good landmark team, and has had a new coach, a newer coach over the last few years and doing some great things before we really get into the meat of our schedule, playing Gettysburg, Dickinson. Uh, two of the best teams in the ODAC and Washington and Lee and Lynchburg before we play Salisbury and end up with a very strong Franklin and Marshall team before we get into a, a solid conference play, uh, knowing that Eastern and York and uh, Widener are all, and Messiah are all going to have much improved teams. So we're excited about our schedule, and each week is going to be competitive and play against great players, and that's what our guys come here to do each and every year. Yeah, we're lucky enough to have a, a lot of guys last year go, uh, get all MAC and some other, uh, other um, accolades over the year, and we're lucky enough to have a few preseason All-Americans, but the guys we got coming back that we're going to rely on is our defense with Nick Mullevy coming back for his fifth year and Jack Seals coming back for his sixth year and Justin Scarice back for his fifth year, Ryan Quinn's back uh, for his senior season, and then we got our core of our midi Ds back. All four of them returned from a year ago, and then we have a couple really solid freshmen they think are going to contribute for us. So I think our leadership is going to come from our defensive end, and because we're going to be much younger in offensive end, even though we have think we think two of the better middies in the country in Grand Zick and Jack Scalati. But we're going to have a lot of freshmen out there and a lot of sophomores who haven't played for us before. So it's uh, they're much different than we've uh, been in the past. You know, bigger kids, you can shoot it better from the outside and a little tougher. Uh, but it will be a little quicker on the offensive end, especially with some of the freshman attackmen that we're probably going to play this year. Yeah, so we, we were lucky enough to have probably one of our better freshman class in, in a little while here. And so, you know, we're, you know, Gavin Gosson from, uh, uh, Florida is going to play a lot for us, along with Darrell Curtis, another freshman attackman from California. And then we had a transfer who's a freshman from Bellarmine who didn't play his, uh, who still has four year of eligibility. Uh, and then Caleb Russell, you know, we're expecting a lot out of him. It might take him a little bit longer than the other guys, but he's going to be pretty good. And, you know, we have a uh, Hunter Brand who's a freshman out of uh, Urbana High School who's probably going to be one of the best freshmen in the country. Big, strong midi that can do a lot of things, along with some sophomores that really developed with us. And, Max Rasick and Colin Dobbins are much improved over the over the, uh, the past quality years. And we have a senior midi that came in, transferred from um, Siena. And, and so that's, he's going to help us a lot as well. So, you know, we're going to play a lot of different faces in the midfield and a lot of new guys at the attack position, but we really like that. We think that's really going to help us and do different things. And we might be a little simpler, but I think we're going to be a little more athletic. Yeah, we've been lucky enough over the last, uh, I, think that, I think it's 11 years now we've been doing the Mustang Classic. And I think this year is one of our stronger slates. You know, eight of the 10 teams are preseason ranked, and a lot of them are in the top five. So we're really excited. And I think that kind of exposure uh, for us is tremendous. But I think, you know, it's all about the coaches. The coaches have really bought into this event, taking two games away from their maybe home games to come to this event to have it. And just we're really excited to, um, for this event on the 15th and 16th to just show what great lacrosse is. Uh, for everybody to see, and uh, we just can't wait to get out there and get that tournament going again for its 11th year, and we're, you know, I think the players love it as much as the coaches now, so it's awesome. Just can't wait to get everybody out there on the, on the 17th for our opener. We hope all the students come out. It's going to be a great year and a great atmosphere on Mustang Stadium on the 17th, and we can't wait to see everybody.